welcome back i am alok shrivastava let's learn about the tasks how can i execute a job directly on the shell by now i had been using some resources like file resource to create a file a package resource to create or install a package or remove a package things like that if i want puppet to run a command directly on the shell we have a very wonderful resource type exec or execute so let let me give you a very simple example let me open the same file here say here i write exec 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 resource type and then the title say disk free i am just can give it any name so what i am trying to do i am trying to run the df hyphen h command on the shell and the output should be redirected to a file so it is as good as you are executing the command on the shell so i write here command and whatever the command is so i can say give bin echo also bin echo and anything i can put a command here bin echo and say or i can give df hyphen h that will be much more easier so before you give the command you need to find out where is actually the df the so df stands under usr bin df so i copy this open the file so command paste it here df hyphen h and the output should be redirected to say temp my disk free whatever dot txt so it is as good as you are executing the command directly on the shell this is the magic of exec resource type so if i run it i give puppet apply factor dot pp see here so and i if i do a temp of my disk free it's coming up so it has executed the direct command on the shell so this is how you can use the exec resource type to run some command in case you have some command that need to be run on the remote machine though we hadn't used the remote machine yet and we are using the same machine but we will be doing it you can give this path or there is another way also i'll give you one more example you can give the current working directory also with exec see here say i give i want to see swap so this swap status and i give here command and i first go to i will change my directory even this is possible so i give temp that means first move inside temp and then run the command so if i give where is this swap on so swap on is usr bin swap on as bin sorry i copy this move into here paste it swap on hyphen s status and output will be redirected to my swap dot txt so here i need not to specify the directory path here as the command will first go into the temp directory and then execute it i can also give a very interesting option that i really like it is creates i'll show you what exactly this is so it's create temp my swap dot txt okay let me just not do it first i save and come out from here i run it again so it should be creating that file yeah and see this has run again this free even though the job was executed but it has run again so if i go to temp my swap.txt it is there fair enough whatever the output is so if i go to temp and show this and if you have noticed it has executed this command again so exec will keep on executing the command every time you run it so this is my my disk free see the timestamp is same 
but there might be cases like suppose i'll give you a very simple example let's suppose you you intend to download a file on the server but once the file is downloaded it is there present in the server you don't want to do it again because otherwise your exec will go to the internet try to download the file again so in case you want to avoid this repetitive job see 858 here and let me see what's the timestamp sorry the current time it's 859 okay so what i do here see it's very interesting sorry i have to move in here so what i do for this i'm doing it for this i write here creates creates and whatever the file it is supposed to create that means if this file is there if this file is there that means the job is already being executed so it will not execute this command again but because i hadn't specified the creates here so this will keep on executing every time i will run this file i hope i had made myself clear so see here if i go to temp so this file has got same timestamp so if i run it again my swap.txt should not be overwritten so this timestamp should remain same but this should change so if i run it again so let's check it out oh i think the file name is wrong or something wrong let me check there might be some syntax error i have to check it oh i had i hadn't saved it oh my god i hadn't saved it but i think i had saved it creates no problem let's do it again temp my swap dot txt got it so let me check the timestamp once again it's 9 as per my machine time and the current time is 9 1 okay let me apply it again so my swap should not change the timestamp see now it works it has only executed the disk free so that saves the repetitive jobs see here the timestamp so this is again the old timestamp which is not being over overwritten this is how you can use the exec resource type but i have a issue i have a small problem the problem is that i need to write the complete path of the commands i need to write the complete path of the command so there is a certain path like usr bin should be in your path usr as bin should be in your path so why i should be writing it here so what i can do anywhere in the file normally it should be at the top of the file so i will give this path usr bin and usr as bin so i go to the top normally we do it at the top so at the starting of the execution just write exec with capital e so it will be applied on all the exec resource type and the path specify the path usr bin usr as bin so whatever path you think you will be using it keep on adding it so once you add the path with the capital e exec means for exec with capital e that means make this default for all exec resources so once i had a defined it here so i need not to write usr bin and usr as bin here so if everything is working fine so i am saved from this job and this should work let's check it out this will not work obviously okay let me just comment this out so it should work both should work now let's check it out oh so capital e is actually they use it for uh, the site.pp file it's not being used here so what i can do i can use uh, with a small p path so that i can do in the normal file wait i'll show it to you i'll copy this line i copied this line i comment this out so this facility you will find it more interesting or 
usable with the site dot pp when we will be uh, using the client server architecture not right now so i can use here path like this so you can paste it here also path so check it out oh it's not using it let me see path bin and usr bin usr slash bin oh 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 there is a comma issue here i think it should work then there also let me try this this might have changed otherwise we have got site.pp with us this syntax issue might be the problem so let me activate this here oh sorry not here here so capital E, I am first checking whether the capital E is working or not. So capital E, if capital E works, that will save me from writing the path with every exec resource type. And it worked. This is good. So if you see here, I will just again open the file for you. Just write exec with capital E. So whatever exec resource you use, it will be the default. So here you will simply give the command name. You need not to give the path again and again this can be very useful next I can also schedule the jobs like cron tab you must have heard about the cron jobs so you can schedule the job that this particular job should run at this particular time for this we have cron resource type say my backup anything so I want the backup to be done at say 11 o'clock or like 11 in the morning or whatever time so I, I will use my machine time so currently it is 9.06. So I will use it at 9.10 or 9.11 or not 9.11. And uh, I say command. Say I give up say tar command. So if I give where is tar. USR bin tar. So if I open this. USR bin tar hyphen cvf say temp my data dot tar and what to back up everything in the root so I'm just trying to get this but when to back I give r is 09 minute I say 11 as it is 97 currently so I can specify this make sure you specify the minute so if you don't specify the minute it will take it as asterisk means every minute and then all the cron tab rules will work like suppose if I if I if I give something like this asterisk slash 11 that means every 11th minute so let's make it simple for this uh, save and come out and if I run a cron tab hyphen L, I don't have a cron tab here. So if I apply this, yo, and this cron tab is there. See, so I should have this file automatically created. Obviously, uh, you are all RSC certified guys. You know, if it is in the cron tab, then the job will be executed successfully. So you can run the cron tab or manage the cron tab on remote machines also. The syntax, the coding or your DSL code will remain the same. The only thing which will differ when you will be using a client server architecture is the location, the file name. That's all. Whatever you write will remain the same. That's why we are doing it initially on the single machine, local host. You can run the cron tab. For some commands like uh, update or anything, you can also use daily, schedule daily can be done. So you should be able to manage your task with exit and cron. Now once you have done these things, then the next what we are going to learn is how to have 
everything running practically in a client server architecture because that is what we have to run we need to understand how the things works on remote machines which files to manage and what to do so that is what we'll be starting in our day 3 thank you very much